everybody. Good morning to you. How are you? So I got woken up very early by my cat Booger, <laughs> of course. <laughs> She's an early bird, my cat. And she thinks that I must be an early bird, even though there's no reason for me to be up, especially on such a cold morning here in Oregon. Just let mama sleep on the weekends. Anyway, so Chantal did a stream yesterday entitled TGIFBs. Let's have some fun. Now, when she started the stream, I thought she was going to do something more lighthearted, much more fun for her VIBs, because generally that's what people do when they title streams like this. They pull up some funny videos or video clips and everybody just has a good time laughing. But what did she do? So this stream went on for three hours. That's right. Three hours. And she spent nearly all of it bashing on FFG. Now, I realize there are some people on my channel. You may not be fans of FFG. Maybe you're not into her style uh, of delivery or her content. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I understand that different people connect with different things. But I'm confused about that. I'm confused about Champon like Chantal, who claims to hate French Fried Girl. She knows that every time she does a stream where she's bashing on Frenchie, that what the end result is going to be is Frenchie doing her live stream and gaining a lot more subs and making a lot more money. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> it's a very strange structured thing between the two of them. Uh, she hates Frenchie, but she knows every time she talks about her, she's putting more money into her pocket. <laughs> I would think if you hate someone and they're a content creator, as are you, that if you really didn't like them, why would you help them make more money? Why would you do that? But that's what Chantal does. She goes after French Fry Girl. And every time she does, it's just more profitable for Frenchie. Instead of just saying, I'm not talking about her anymore and let's keep it pushing she does the exact opposite. And then she watches Frenchie streams. She lurks in the streams. She sees all the super chats flying by and it makes her furious. Well, you put that in place, Chantal, every time you talk about her. And you talked about her in this stream that I'm going to react to for over an hour and a half, nearly two hours of the stream. So considering the length of the stream, I'm cutting it down to we're starting in at an hour and 22 minutes. And for those wondering, are we missing anything in the first hour, 22 minutes? Honestly, no. She shows a bunch of her stupid skit clips. I really don't care. She shows another person's video uh, talking against FFG. I don't really want to show that person's video on my channel. Uh, and then she continues to bash on Frenchie. And so why am I reacting to it? Well, because I've got some things to say to Chantal. But before we get into it, I would like to say a couple of things. So I read all the comments that you guys put on my videos. And I've seen quite a few comments from people saying that they are highly offended. Highly, highly offended at the fact that Chantal, she's treating being bedbound and being almost disabled as a joke. Uh, there are people in my audience that they are dealing with uh, severe illness and just debilitating conditions. And they're going through real life pain, lots of it. And Chantal's making a joke of it. And if you're someone and you're in my audience and you're watching Chantal and just her making a sheer mockery of lack of mobility or a lack of health is a joke. If that greatly offends you, even though Chantal will never apologize for her behavior, I'd like to say, I'm sorry you are offended. I mean, it's horrible. Chantal is so desperate to be a victim of anything, everything, that she'll make stuff up that's not even true. She absolutely will. Anything that is a hurt, anything that is a wound, anything to where she can say, I'm, I can't do things for myself. 
she'll turn it into content and she'll treat it as a joke. She wants to be a victim of everything, although she's not a victim of anything. I don't think, in my opinion, she's gone through any kind of real life trauma. Uh, to, she's made stuff up. Uh, her making fun of being bed bound or perhaps being disabled in some way. It's just, it's, it's the next on the list in the long line of things that she's done that she shouldn't have done. Like her talking about SA and DV saying that she was a victim of those things when she never was. And those of us that have actually been through it, we saw right through that and we were offended also. She's made fun of so much stuff, y'all. But if you're someone in my audience and her talking about these things is offensive, I, even though she'll never apologize, I will apologize for her. She's just a twisted, evil, demented person who needs content. And she thinks that negativity is the way to make content. Rather than do something positive, she always goes for the negative. And she's reached a place where she's got nothing left. So let's just make stuff up. If it doesn't really exist, let's just make stuff up. So um, even though she'll never apologize, I'm apologizing for her. I'm sorry that you feel offended. Chantal is an offensive person. So before we get into the stream, let's look at a couple of things. And I like to do it just to make Chantal angry, you know. Because, <laughs> you know, we, we got to make her angry over here. All right. So uh, let me just share the screen. I'd like to show you guys something, something you might be interested in. Let's go over here to Social Blade. Okay. So for those of you that have never seen Social Blade, you're wondering what it is. Social Blade dot, is it dot com? Let me look real quick. Socialblade.com is a site that you can go to if you're wondering about the stats of different YouTube channels. It, it lists different kinds of stats, like Chantal's. And here's Chantal's page. You know, for context, we'd like to give context here. There's her page. All right. Oops. <laughs> Subscribers for the last 30 days down by 60%. Ouch. That looks painful. Yikes. Okay. The part that I'm interested in is this part right here. Showing her subscribers. Would you look at that? Just yesterday, she bought another 100 subs. So Chantal's been buying subs. She's trying to creep her way up to that 100K and she doesn't care if she has to buy her way there. She's purposely doing it slowly, buying a little at a time so YouTube won't catch on to her. So let's see, you got January 21st, she bought 100. January 27th, another 100. And then we've got February the 2nd, which was yesterday, another 100. Now, I have had the question in the comments, uh, people commenting that Social Blade, when they show the numbers, sometimes they round them up. But I would think that if she's gaining subscribers organically, you would see like plus one, plus two, plus 15 on these other days. Notice they're all empty. It's always 100, 100, 100, which is really weird, right? really really weird if she were doing great content if people were doing it organically wouldn't you see like smaller numbers besides the hundred so yeah i want to show that to you like she's over there she's so focused on the number the number of subscribers which has nothing to do with engagement because honestly at the end of the day the numbers don't matter how many subscribers you have does not matter it's all about the engagement from people that's what youtube really looks at is the engagement from people uh, french fry girl if you look at the number on her page of subscribers she has far less than chantal 
but she gets far more engagement. Like I think Frenchie's at what, 30K versus Chantal almost 100K, but yet her numbers are much better. So it's about the engagement, Chantal. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on the subscriber number. At the end of the day, that doesn't matter. Okay, so let's look at something else. Something else that might be interesting. So there's another site called playboard.co. Uh, the reason why I like this site is because it shows the amount of super chats. So Chantal did a, that live, the TGIFB's live. And although she spent more than half the time raging about French Fry Girl, look at the amount of super chats, $39. For our almost 100K channel, those are not good numbers. Not at all. Like, I remember way back in the day when Chantal was and Natter were doing the Crackhead Olympics. She was getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in Super Chats and membership signups like you wouldn't believe. So she's, she did basically a rage stream against Frenchie. Like, she was really going for broke spending more than half the time raging about Frenchie. And, and that was all she could manage. $39. And although I'm not looking at French Fried Girl's uh, page, I'm sure she made a lot more than $39. <laughs> so all of that rage, Chantal, all of that devotion to bashing on Frenchie, and this is it. This is what she did. <laughs> This is the end result, $39. And, and Chantal is from Canada. She's Canadian. That's right. So consider the fact that this might be the gross amount of Super Chats. YouTube takes 30% of whatever you make. Also, because she's in Canada, taxes apply. So that amount might be a lot lower so let's get out of here and let's go on to something else let's go to her video let's pull that up and again i'm not reacting to the whole doggone thing there's no need i mean i like to do react videos but i don't want them so incredibly long that you guys are like man i, I can't watch all of this and i i hear you we've, we've got things to do we've got work we have to do we got to do our housework we got to go outside and play with the kids and you know, play with the pets and we got stuff to do we all have lives Chantal does not she doesn't seem to get that <laughs> but I'm cutting out a big portion of it we're gonna react to a portion of it and, and leave the rest alone and then just call it a day on this one I'm I'm probably not gonna be able to monetize this anyway because of her cursing by the way, something about that. Chantal, you keep telling us that Salah is around, that he's there. But you're giving all the tells that he's not there. Remember when Salah was staying at the apartment? You weren't streaming at crazy hours all the time, late at night, because he was there. But suddenly you started doing that midnight, three in the morning. If one person were living with another person, wouldn't you not do that because you might be waking them up? And in your streams, you're not exactly being quiet. You're not whispering. You're quite loud. In this stream, you're doing all that cursing and swearing, something that he would also not approve of. So please keep telling on yourself that he's not there. Please. We love it when you tell on yourself. Also, another interesting tidbit, courtesy of one of my subscribers, and I don't know anything about this, but it could be something interesting to know. So someone in my comments let me know that Allah, who is a friend of Salah, said that during the month of February, the people in Kuwait, there's a lot of parties celebrating their freedom. If that's true, could this be the reason why Chantal is doing this? I'm sick. I need help. Arc to keep Salah from going out and spending time with his friends. 
and going to those parties. That, that's so in the wheelhouse of something that she would do. When she wants attention, you're not giving it to her. She will do things to get attention. If she doesn't like the idea or the possibility that you might be having too much fun, she's going to stop you from having fun because she figures, I'm not having fun, therefore my partner shouldn't be having fun. So I just thought that was an interesting thing to learn. But enough of my gib-gab. Let's get into the actual video itself. And again, this is, this is a lot of bashing on French Fry Girl. If you're someone on my channel and you're not a fan of Frenchie, uh, you, you're not subscribed to her channel, I totally get that. Look, everybody likes something different. It's not for me to tell any of you who to like and where to go. Feel free to exercise your freedom. I'm just here to react to the video. Okay, enough with that. Let's go. Yeah, for sure, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, Don, right? You can't because, for example, if I put up a picture of her, that's literally just a screenshot of her from a video. She'll say, oh, she photoshopped it. So she's just going to make up things and her zombies will eat up the lies. They don't care. They're at equally as brain dead as her. Yeah. Oh, I, I know I'm stopping it early. Sorry. Speaking of photos, I'm just saying this before I forget. Hi, Booger. You want up here? Come here. <laughs> My little cuddle bug. Speaking of pictures, Chantal, the pictures of yourself, you were somewhere, you were sitting in the wheelchair inside of a room. I have a collection of questions for you regarding that. Uh, a lot of people took a look at that photo, like really took a look and said, it, it looks strange almost photoshopped i looked at it and it just seemed like something was off like i know that there are apps that you can put on your phone or perhaps your computer and you could take a picture of yourself and if there's any kind of background you can replace the background with a photo of your choosing and to me that's what it looks like i because you can't see the rest of the room, uh, I, I can't tell if you're in a waiting room or say a hospital room. It, it, the background, it kind of looks like the inside of a patient's room, but I have questions. Like if, if that's a patient room, why would you need a wheelchair inside of the room? And where's the medical equipment? Shouldn't there be medical equipment? Uh, m most uh, hospital rooms or patient rooms that I've been in, there's a sink area. There's a, a place where you see medical instruments and stuff like that. Like I didn't see anything. It looked like a bare room, which I thought was odd. But if you, I, I really looked at that picture and the first thing I thought of was green screen. Did you green screen that picture? Did you take a picture of yourself, cut out the background and add another background to make it seem like you were in a patient room? It just, we all noticed how you photoshopped your body in the picture that you cut out a lot of your, your tummy, your stomach. You made it a lot smaller, although you forgot about your back. It, you look like you're entirely too large. Ow, booger for the wheelchair. Like it, you shouldn't have been sitting in it. Yeah, those those pictures that you are absolutely just going ham with putting in people's faces. There's something off about them, way off. You know, and a lot of them are like, um, like scorned ex-beezers or scorned. They're all mostly ex-members of mine or audience members of mine. And um, that didn't like, like at some point, you know, I didn't like how they were treating me or talking to me and I would. <sighs> Scorned ex beezers Do you mean the people that were in your chat that were loyal to you 
And during the whole crackhead Olympics era, you were being highly abusive, Chantal. Highly, highly abusive. All of you new beezers, that you're just you're coming in late to the party. You don't know the Chantal of two or three years ago. You weren't exposed to her. Let me just fill you in on what you don't know. During the crackhead Olympics, when she was seeing Natter, she was a total beach, okay? She was. She was mean. She would go party with Natter on the party favors, uh, the heavy stuff. And then she would crash. It was like there would be a mood swing type crash with that. And she would get mean even to her own members. She would... And she would gaslight people and set people up to be upset with her. And then when they were upset with her, she would punish them. For example, like she couldn't make up her mind about Natter. One minute she's bashing on him and he's so abusive and he's horrible and he did these things to me. The next minute she's sneaking off to go see him and saying to her audience, Oh, he's really not that bad of a guy. You don't know him. We have long conversations. He's a different person away from the camera. And it would really make her beezers upset because she had just gotten through saying how horrible he was and he has the black eyed rage and he's so abusive. And of course, them being people, when you are a person and you have your, hum your humanity, you see a person in distress or in trouble, you are worried for their welfare. So she would gaslight the crap out of everybody, say that Natter was abusive and I'm so scared for him and I might need security cameras. And then she'd be going off to see him. And her beads would be like, well, why are you seeing that guy for? He's dangerous. They would express their upset with her. And she'd be like, I don't want to hear anything about Natter. You don't understand who wants to be blocked. Literally, she would do that. Go on blocking sprees, 70, 80, 90 people at a time in one sitting. Oh, and another thing, Beezers, something you should be aware of. Little Miss Scam Queen over here. She would purposely block people in her chat that were paying members just to get more money out of them. Yeah, that was her little racket. If you were a paying member paying your $5 and she wanted more money out of you, she would block you on one account just to force you to make another account and pay another freaking $5. So you're paying $10 instead of five. Isn't that lovely? Being subscribed to a content creator who scams people like that versus giving them quality content so they can come back over and over and be happy yeah she did that too but aside from the scorned beezers that she blocked a lot of people that were in her chat they just got worn out from chantal worn out on the empty promises on the mind games on the mood swings and her being around Natter and her being high and coming on camera and not able to really talk because she's taken 2000 milligrams in edibles. It's a lot. It was a lot. It was really, really, really dark. And every person has their limit about what they can deal with. Like you, you can get to a point mentally, emotionally, where you are stressed out, you feel like an over saturated sponge and you cannot absorb anymore and you have to walk away that's something she does not get while she thrives on negativity other people we don't thrive it hurts us it's debilitating she doesn't get that and she doesn't care all she wants is attention you don't give it to her or if you stop giving it to her she will punish you like ugh. So let's keep going. Would block them or whatever. Like I have that right. So you can have my leftovers. I don't really give a crap. You know what I mean? 
like I always say, like um, quanti quality over quantity. Ma'am, when has your channel ever been about quality? When has it ever been about quality? With you, it's always been about quantity. You know, you'll put out a bazillion garbage live streams just because you can. You don't care about quality anymore. You haven't cared in quite a while. Your figuring is if I put out a live stream or two live streams a day, I know I'm going to make a certain amount because of Google AdSense. And as far as getting paid from Google AdSense, it doesn't matter if you put out a video and you're not doing anything. You could paste the camera to a wall. And that's it. And if that video is monetized and you get a certain number of views for that video, it, it goes to the Google AdSense money, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be quality content. It just has to be monetized content. And she knows this. That's why she doesn't try anymore. Although she's shooting herself in the foot, because if you do quality content, people will want to watch the video for more than just a couple of days, that video might become what's called evergreen content, which it's it's content, it's a video that people are interested in forever, and it will get views as long as it's up. It's It'll be a solid money maker, but to make quality content would mean effort and thought. You gotta put some pride into your work. You gotta sit down and actually do something. Got to care. Got to care about the lighting and the sound and what people are seeing, what people are hearing. She hasn't cared about quality in years. It's all about just let me get that quick money. Let me get that quick money. Grabbing at that cash. So busy grabbing at the nickels and dimes in front of her feet that she's forsaking the dollar bills in front of that. And that's why she's hurting right now. And that's why. She's desperate enough that she's going to devote more than half of a live stream talking about Frenchie. It's weird, isn't it? She said, no more rage streams. Didn't she tell us that? I know they want that. I know they want the rage streams. And that's exactly why I'm not doing them. I'm not going to focus on those people. I'm going to do a glow up. What happened to the glow up? What happened to the glow up, Chantal? What happened? Where did it go? I, I, I guess you, you changed your mind again. I don't need 4,000 people cheering me on to hate somebody over and over. No. But you'd like those 4,000 people, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. If you had a stream where you saw 4,000 people, you wouldn't know what to do with yourself. You wouldn't know how to act. <laughs> you would not know how to act. You haven't seen those numbers in forever. You're lucky to break three or 400 anytime you live stream. This was a rage stream. Not like a full on, full throttle, losing my mind rage stream, mind you. But we got some rage against Frenchie. And even with a rage stream, you could even break a thousand. Could not even. You're just not getting it, Chantal. The content you're putting out, it's stale. Because you talk about the same stuff all the time. People are bored. And they've reached a place, I'm sure, where they're like, I'm not going to send a super chat for this. We've been here before a hundred times over. Let's move it along. Let's do something new. You're not listening. You're not paying attention. Because you're stuck in a rut. You pick five subjects and five people and you, you've literally talked them to death. And then you get frustrated because you're not getting the money for it. <laughs> you gotta, gotta talk about new things at some point. Oh, thanks. She doesn't have any content that's not about me, Miss Cooking, darling. Like if you check her channel, she's fucking obsessed. Like, to the point, it's, like, all me. 
you know, and I report her all the time and I'm going to stay reporting her because that's apparently against the TOS. Well, if you're reporting her all the time, Chantal, and YouTube has looked at her content and said, there's nothing wrong here. We don't see anything wrong. Then I guess she isn't doing anything wrong, is she? I mean, because you're reporting her. By the way, Chantal, <laughs> do you know, madam, that if you are going heavy after somebody and reports, after a while, they just stop taking you seriously? Because they're seeing the same reports from the same person. They just throw them into the trash can. They're like, oh, it's her again. <laughs> Frenchie's not even monetized as far as monetizing her streams. She's not monetizing the views. And, and I've heard that she does that because, you know, she does her cursing. And YouTube has a thing against swearing. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. I'm not YouTube, but you're just not getting it through your brain. You're not in charge of YouTube. You are not the CEO nor the uh, owner of the company. You don't make the rules. You can't just look at channels on YouTube and decide, I don't like them, therefore they shouldn't exist. You are someone with a channel on YouTube like the rest of us. What's funny is you've broken terms of service so many times. You've had your channel take it away from you. I would think... For someone who depends 100% on YouTube for that income and you have no other prospects, you don't have a job off of YouTube and you've gotten yourself to a place physically where you cannot do a regular job, then I'd be walking much more carefully if I were you because you're bringing attention to yourself, a lot of attention. And I would think you don't want I, you don't want YouTube eyeballing you. What if they eyeball you too much? What if something happens and they take your monetization away, or you do something stupid and you get a strike and you're offline for a week? That's a lot of lost money, isn't it? Yeah. So, but you're dumb. All you can see is I'm mad at her. I'm mad at her. She's making more money than me. She, she's reacting to me. I don't like that. And you keep going after her. Although nothing you've done thus far has done anything. Nothing has worked. But you are someone you don't like to lose, do you? You're a sore loser. But here's the thing. You've already lost the game, Chantal. You've already lost. Now it's just a matter of how much do you want to lose? How much can you afford to lose? I'm not in your pocket. I'm not pocket watching you. I don't care about your money. But you need to understand that you've already lost. And you keep losing in so many ways. You're losing the terms of you're losing money because you won't do quality content. You've lost as far as finding a partner that actually loves you because he really doesn't care. You're, you've lost every bit of your health. There's no area of your life where you are absolutely winning and victorious. You've already lost. Again, it's, now it's just a matter of how much do you want to lose? How much can you afford to lose? That's up to you. Um, so it's only, I don't know. Maybe it's only a matter of time for her. We'll see. Very low self-esteem. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know, Teardrop. I don't get it either. She gives me a headache. Your voice is so chill. Yeah, I don't sound like uh, Selma. A psychotic Selma. She doesn't edit her videos, yet she calls you lazy. Exactly. I, I'll never accept reactors calling my content lazy when their content is using my lazy content. And they don't make it funny. They, they're they stupid. They tell like grade five jokes, you know. Look, If that's true, then the reaction channels would not be thriving. If we were all boring potatoes with no sauce, 
no cheese, no chives, no bacon bits, no nothing, the reaction channels wouldn't thrive. We have to be entertaining. We have to be in whatever way or style that we can be. Everybody's got a different approach. That's what I love about the reaction community because what we're doing is we're taking the same content, the same person's content, and we're putting so many different spins on it that it makes it entertaining, doesn't it? You know, a lot of reactors, would, they'll go out and they'll make intros and outros and break videos that are funny. They'll add in different clips just to get you laughing. Chantal doesn't give us much to work with these days. Very little. She talks about the same doggone subjects over and over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> you know, that's why we get so happy when something different is going on, like her going to Thailand or her going to Cuba or when she first got to Kuwait or the Kaibella stuff. It's something different that we can offer up to everybody. It refreshes the content, but then she gets stuck in a rut again and it gets boring again. We're like, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Doggone it. Now what? And so we have to be, we got to think outside the box and reach for the interesting content, do the retro reacts. We got to think on our feet. She doesn't know how to do that. She doesn't know how. But if we were boring, Chantal, why are we thriving? Why do we have better engagement than you? Why is it when people search for Foodie Beauty on YouTube, before they see your channel, they see the reaction channel videos first? It's not about subscriber number. It's about engagement. It's about active engagement with your audience and how they interact with you you're obsessed with a subscriber number nobody cares nobody cares youtube doesn't even care they don't care no special privileges with that high number but keep buying your way to 100k because when they do a channel audit and they see you've bought those doggone subs and they see all the dead subs they'll cut that number by more than half. I don't know what, how many true subs you have, but it can't be that much considering the amount of people that come into your live chat. I've been in Erie Pepperoni's live chat. She's very entertaining. And Are You Serious's live chat, also very entertaining. And here's the sad thing, Chantal. Them being much, much smaller channels, they had almost as many uh, people watching as you did and there are what five six k and there you are with 100k you should be ashamed <laughs> you should be absolutely ashamed <laughs> and there was one chat that you did i i peeked because i noticed the chat was not moving very much and i looked to see how many people were in the live chat 23 girl shameful look at the size of her fingers meanwhile um look at her fingers you know like i'll show her your fingers are worse and sh she'll just be like you photoshopped it yeah right sure okay <laughs> but then they say i'm lazy and don't know how to photoshop Do you, they they make anything up and twist it to fit their narrative that's how uh you don't know how to photoshop correctly your editing skills suck you make a lot of mistakes and that's how we can spot the mistakes Someone who's been on YouTube for, what, seven, eight years? You've got all kinds of money. You can afford to buy the best editing programs, the absolute best. And you've got all kinds of time to figure out how to use them correctly and really get it down. But you're sloppy and lazy. How do you think we spotted all those mistakes in the wheelchair photo? All you were concerned about was editing down your tummy, your stomach, making it smaller. But you weren't checking to see the lines matched up. <laughs> Work on your skills, girl. That's how it works. 
Lady Ravenhill, thank you. I hope you know how loved you are despite all the hate out there. Stay strong because you are above their attacks. Thank you for sharing your light. Those of us that appreciate you. Thank you, Lady Ravenhill. And I, 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 it still blows my mind that she's putting out this narrative to her audience. Oh, they're attacking me. Reacting is not attacking. We're just giving our opinions because she chose to put herself on a public platform. Therefore, all of the public, reactors included, have a right to say what we want about it. Now, she took her content to say only hands or some other private forum. We'd have nothing to say. There'd be nothing to talk about. But she wanted to come here and make money off the general public and subject the general public to things, in my opinion, they shouldn't have to witness and they shouldn't be watching. So we are free to say what we want. She's got to put up with it as long as she's putting her content out there in front of everybody for free. If you don't like the heat, get out of the kitchen, Chantal. You're so right. I always think about that. I'm like, um, they're really just nobodies without my content. You know, they'll never have a cameo, um, which it is a flex because you have to be like sort of, you have to be like a, even if you're like a Z-list celebrity on. Okay, stop right there. I'm laughing. You have to be somebody to be on cameo. No, 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 no. That's not true. Now, Cameo does have things set up where you have to know someone on Cameo already in order to be on Cameo. It's going to be like a friend of a friend type situation. So you could be not famous, not known. But if you know someone is on Cameo already, they can get you on there. Chantal, you're not a celebrity. You're not known off of YouTube, but you're trying to flex like I'm on Cameo. Where's your Cameo? Anybody can get on Cameo. If you know someone that's already on there, you can get on Cameo. That's the only way to get on there, but that's not a flex. Online celebrity, you have to be like, have some kind of presence, you know, and you have to, um, uh, you know, like, I don't think her subs will ever go up. Like, her subs are always the same. A lot of these these reaction channels keep the same level of subscribers. Maybe it goes up very minimally. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care. Whatever. Happy. Happy. Beep, 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 beep. That's not true. My channel's been growing, and I want to thank all my subs for that. All the people that are getting into my channel. My numbers have been jumping up. I recently got over 5K. Awesome. And uh, I've gained, uh, I think, like 200 subs recently. I think that's awesome. But to me, it's not about the numbers. I don't, I don't really care. But she, <laughs> Chantal, I got, uh, what, like the last uh, month or two, 200 subs organically. I didn't pay for them. Organically. The natural way, the real way, the way you should be doing it. You have to keep buying your subs. And guess what? YouTube's going to keep taking them away because they're going to spot the, the numbers going up and go, what's this? And then get rid of them. But I'm growing my channel the right way, as are other people. Our numbers keep going up. Yours only go up when you buy subs. That is so sad. Oh, Sean and Marley Wooden Spoon? <laughs> you want me to watch that, Applebee's? Yeah, right. I'll get accused of uh, making fun of disabled people, so... Well, you are mocking those, in my opinion, that have debilitating illnesses or hurts. You're making a joke of being bed bound. An absolute joke. And then posing in pictures in a wheelchair when you got a smirk on your face, that duper delight smirk. Yeah, it's ticking a lot of people off. And I understand why. I totally get it. You're making a joke of things that are not a joke. By the way, Chantal, some of my subscribers, uh, viewers pointed this out. And I love Girl World because if it's not the reactors catching something, it's the viewers catching something. So 
some of my viewers, subscribers that watched your videos recently where you were saying, oh, I can't walk and I'm having trouble. Saying it's so, it's so painful to sit. Ma'am, more than a few people have pointed out to me that in that video where you were saying, I can't really sit, they could hear you. They heard you sitting at your desk, plopping down in your chair, which I would think if you got sciatica pain, you can't plop down the chair. Uh, you're obviously sitting at the desk and you were mouse clicking. So you weren't on your phone. You were sitting at a desk at a, with a computer, probably Salah's computer that you bought him, mouse clicking. We could hear it. Liar. Absolute liar. Oh, um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, it's sad to spend any second of the day hating someone for sure. Well, that's why I always say stay mad. They're obviously so mad, you know, so stay that way. She's the only one who's mad. <laughs> We're not mad. Reacting is not anger. It doesn't have to be anger. It's just somebody's doing something and I'm giving my opinion. It's no different than say, let's just say you were walking someplace and you saw somebody do something real dumb. You're going to see it do something real dumb and you're going to have your opinion about it, whether it's in your head or out loud. That's what we do. We're giving our opinions based on the actions of another. She's the one who's angry. She's angry about a lot of things that honestly have nothing to do with French fry girl. She's going through a lot of personal, emotional frustrations and anger. She created the environment that she's in. She made the choice to give up her life in Canada, go over to Kuwait. Again, this is all by choice to go to another country where she is isolated and alone to carry on with this fake phony husband arc. But she has no one to talk to there. She can't go anywhere. She can't take a drive. She can't drive to any dispensaries and get her edibles when she feels stressed out. She can't drive to the outhouse. She can't drive to the Burger King, you know, just she's basically she's isolated herself in that apartment. And she picked her one favorite person, but that favorite person does not consider her his favorite. He's a younger man. And I guess maybe the agreement was you play my husband on camera, but off camera, you can go do what you want because that's exactly what he's doing. He doesn't want to be around her. And that's frustrating her because she's alone a lot. And she's frustrated at him and she's frustrated at her life. She's frustrated at her health. But rather than fix the problem, she's going to take out her rage on everyone. And her favorite target is FFG. And uh, she likes to bring up the word jealousy a lot. But, and, and this, this is just my opinion. If you truly hate someone, you don't pay attention to them. You don't talk about them. Especially if you're a YouTuber and you know that by talking about them, it's just going to financially benefit them right they're, you're giving attention to their channel they're going to get more subscribers they're going to make more money if you truly hate somebody why would you make things more profitable for them but i think on a certain level chantal there's a little bit of jealousy in her for frenchie because frenchie can go where she wants she can do as she likes she can take drives anywhere she likes she's making really good money Money that Chantal hasn't seen in years. I think there's a bit of jealousy and envy attached to that. Like every time she sees the super chats flow in for Frenchie and sees her numbers jump up, she gets mad. She gets frustrated. She's alone in that apartment thinking, doggone it. Like I remember getting those kinds of numbers and I haven't seen them in so long. She's reacting to me and she's making more money than me. What is going on here? Well, what's going on 
is you're boring. What's going on is over the course of the years, Chantal, you have constructed things on your channel to where the in, the interesting stuff is not there. Uh, it's gotten dark. It's gotten real dark. It's boring. It's stale. And when people lose interest, they unsubscribe. They stop watching. When your content becomes monotonous to the point where people can predict what you're going to talk about, that's a bad thing. That's a real bad thing. You always want to bring fresh content to people. Keep the interest going. You don't even bother anymore because you've drifted into that lazy place on your channel where you know you can just put out a video. You'll get a certain amount of views. You'll make a certain amount of money off of that. And that's all you need. And so you've gotten comfortable with that minimum amount. So if you're comfortable, you shouldn't be envious of somebody else making more, right? But you are. You absolutely are. If you're comfortable in your stale place of I'm going to do this much and only get this much and that's okay. Don't get mad at somebody else for making more. For doing more. Can't do that. Fascinated. Hmm. Watch Sean and Marley Wooden Spoon. At least your finger has a ring on it. Well, I don't, yeah, she invented, uh, didn't she buy the Jafar ring? Like, I don't know. She's a weird. Ugh. Anyway. <sighs> Stay this format off cam. You make a lot of super chats and make none when you cam up. <laughs> I'm so pissed with YouTube that they allowed these lazy bums to steal your content. Why is it allowed? I know. They are lazy bums. That's all they do. Oh, the fake phony outrage from the VIBs. This person saying, I'm so ticked off with YouTube that they allow these lazy bums to steal your content. Why is it allowed? How can we steal something that she still owns? How is that possible? How do you steal something that's still in the hands of the person who created it? We don't steal her content. We just make it better. There's the Chantal version, and then there's the better than Chantal version. That's what we do. We offer people a choice, an alternative. How do you want to watch Chantal's content? You want to watch it on her channel, or do you want to watch it on our channel? And it'll be more entertaining. People make their own choices. If her content were really interesting, they'd stay on her channel and not go the reactors. But obviously... It, they come over to see us. Also, and Chantal has even pointed this out herself, the people that watch the reaction channels, they wouldn't go to her channel anyway. They don't like her. They don't want to take her full strength. They don't want to go in a raw dog and watch her. They know what she does with the money. They know that she uses the money off of YouTube to do self-harm content. And they're not about that life. They're not going to enable this person to hurt herself. Hence, another reason why they watch the reactors. But we don't steal her content. We just give people another door to go through to watch her. Door number one, go to Chantal's channel. Watch her content. Give her the view. Give her the like. Door number two, find a reactor. Go there. A lot more people go to the second door than the first. Ew. Guaranteed, if that was me and they started a stream and I just stream sniped it, they would cry like babies and go hide in a corner. Or No, we wouldn't. That's what she wants to believe. No, we wouldn't. Oh, we would spoof on her all day. Start striking away false. And by the way, Chantal, I have noticed. I have noticed that when reactors go live, that's when you go live. You'll do it on purpose. I'm going to get in the middle of your live. You don't want to wait your turn. <laughs> you you want to steal somebody else's views. You don't want to wait your doggone turn. Honestly striking. You know what I mean? Like, evil always attacks the light. Exactly. The thing is, she screams and yells about stream sniping. 
there's no such thing as stream sniping on YouTube. That is a gamer term. There's restreaming, but not stream sniping. She wants to yell and scream about that. So if she's got a problem with that, why start her stream right when she knows a reactor is live? She does that on purpose. It's like she's trying to bait someone to stream her just so she has something to complain about. I don't either, Lily. It's okay to laugh with Sean and Marley. That's why they make videos. Really? Yeah, that's, I guess, so true, Nipia. The sparkling water video of theirs is funny, too. I mean, she's really got some of these VIBs brainwashed. They're like, oh, these reactors are so mad because you're not turning on your camera. They must be so mad about that. Do I look mad? <laughs> Do I look mad? I'm cool with it. I am. People in, in, on my channel, are we cool with this or what? We get some added bonuses to not seeing her face. We don't have to hear her eating. We don't have to hear the eating noises. We don't have to hear the jaw clicking. You guys know how I feel about the food eating content. As long as she stays off camera, we don't have to be subjected to none of that. I'm cool with it. I, I'm just here for the voice, okay? The audio, the audio is all I need. Honestly, because most of us, most of you that are on my channel, we've all done this. You put on somebody's stream, you're busy around the house, you're doing stuff, you're not even watching it. Audio is all we need, Chantal. We don't need to see you. Well, they can't react at what you look like right now. And every movie you make, they're probably so mad. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Happy, 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 happy. Okay, do you guys want me to watch anything else? <laughs> Don't cam up until she does, yeah. Right? I just joined on my other channel. Oh, and here's somebody in the chat. Steph says, I just joined on my other channel and I'm still blocked. Well, I, I don't know exactly when you joined up, but again, it's... That, that's the scammer Chantal at work. She'll block people and block people just to force you to buy VIB memberships. Yep. Sure will. And if Chantal tries to come back and say, oh, my block list, I, I'm not going to. It's so hard to unblock people. That's a load of nonsense. As a YouTube content creator, let me tell you how easy it is to unblock people. You go to your studio, you find your block list. There's even like a little thing where you can put in somebody's name and you can unblock them. It's just that simple. Now I'm sure her block list is large and wide, but here's another thing that I find incredible about Chantal. She wants money. She wants to make money. So this person, Chantal, who wants to make money why not just clear out that block list? You, just start from, from scratch. That would allow more people to come into her chat and buy memberships or super chats and all that. But no, she thinks that the way to go is to keep people blocked, to force them to spend more money on her. That's her way of getting money out of people, not by quality content, but by scamming people to pay that money via memberships their channel and I'm still blocked. Steph, I, I can't find, you have to send me the link of your channel. Are you, you don't do it by link, you do it by name and you could easily find the name, Chantal. Able to, I can unblock you. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better, Dawn, actually. I don't have pain right now. Hi, Sean. It comes and goes. Here we go. It's about to kick off. Messy girl says, thank Fuqua. <laughs> dank dank are you seeing this dank messy girl says dank fupa it's so funny 
Chantal, this is one of your VIB saying this. Look at that. A name highlighted in green who enjoys Dank Fupa. Dank Fupa has got an awesome channel. The content is hilarious. And even the VIBs are loving it. I think that's great. That is so great. <laughs> well done, Dank. Look at that. Even the VIBs are loving yours. Just hoping they dare to say that in her chat. Oh, you know, if you give them attention, they will respond. They crave attention. I know. Imagine that being your life. Like, no. There's only benefit for you. Reaction channels will suffer and you get money. Seriously. Yeah. I do miss your face, though. I know. I miss you guys, but... What's the first thing I want to do? Um, definitely go out. Go out. Maybe I want a winter camp. I want to go camping. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. <laughs> Not you. Not you going camping. Yeah, that would go over like a lead balloon. It, uh, no. <laughs> Just no. I can't see her camping and being comfortable. Even the glamping would not be enough for her. She doesn't know how to be to go out in the woods and camp and sit by the campfire and just rough it a little bit. She's all about keeping everything soft and comfortable. How is she going to be comfortable camping? For sure. Oh, and by the way, this, again, I'm just letting the thoughts out as they come to me so I don't forget. I try to put them somewhere else later. The title of this stream is TGIFBs. Let's have fun. The title is not I want to have fun. No, she's saying we're all going to have fun together. Three hour stream. This didn't feel fun to me. It's just her complaining. How is that fun? Her sitting and sitting in a stream and complaining for three freaking hours. That's fun for her, maybe. That gets some steam out of her system, but that's not really providing fun for the VIBs. So you're not concerned for the entertainment factor in front of other people, Chantal. It's about like, this is what I want to do, and I need money, so I'm going to do a three-hour stream talking about French Fry Girl. And you wonder why your super chat sucked during the stream because you were only caring about your sense of entertainment versus other people. <clears throat> um, Sati, salam, shatal, welcome, salam, hello. Thank you, thank you, Sati. I appreciate that. I'm from Canada, Sean. I will definitely show you guys more of Kuwait. Hello, Ow. world. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. That's so kind of you. Thanks. Thank you. Um. Your hubby's in Cairo. Are you in Cairo too, Nicolina? You're from the USA. Cool. We're in the USA. You're doing videos and streaming without showing face is the best thing to mess with directors. They have nothing to whine about without picking on looks. That's all they do is pick on looks. And they look like friggin', for example, she looks like a potato. Uh, she looks like a potato. Okay, the irony of what she's saying right here. Everybody take note of this. So at one hour, 30 minutes, and 43 seconds, she's claiming the reactors, we just go for the looks right now later on in this stream she's going to show pictures of french fried girl start commenting on her looks and her body so you're allowed to comment on somebody else's looks or weight at the same time you can play about other people doing it chantal it all mated with danny De or um who's that one guy oh, what's his name john c Riley. 
Camping in Kuwait. Yeah, I did do camping. There's a video on our couple's channel. There's a lot of Kuwait videos on our couple's channel because we used to do videos of us doing. Chantal, why are you still pushing the couple's channel? It's a done deal. It's over. You and Salah will never make couples content again. He's done with YouTube. He's ruined for YouTube. He can even go on his gaming channel without you and do content without people coming into the comments saying scat man. He's been run off of YouTube and we're okay with that. We don't want to see nor hear from Salah ever again. He was just a walk on part player actor in the Chantal reality show. And he wasn't a very good one. He wasn't entertaining. He was rather boring, but he's done with YouTube. Don't know why you're pushing the couple's channel, except maybe you're hoping to get some extra views this month because money is just that bad. There's going to be no more couples content. He's not going to be on the couple's channel with you doing fresh content. He's not going to come on your main channel. And I'm sure he's happy about that. The fact that he doesn't have to play the part of your husband any longer and he can have free time to do what he wants away from you. I'm sure he's relieved. He's embarrassed from what happened, but he's relieved that he can get away from you. And things like that. Um, we're still going to do things, but I'll just be in the videos. Yeah. Hundred percent. So Italian tidbit says no more unhealthy mukbangs, Chantal. Only healthy ones. Well, here's the problem, Italian. The feedies they don't like healthy mukbangs. They don't. They want unhealthy food, the fast food, the more processed food, the better. That's what the feedies prefer. She doesn't want to do healthy mukbangs. She's tried. For a while there, she was eating the uh, the healthy meals that were pre-made and delivered. She hated it. She even said there was one day where she ate the healthy meals and that led to a bee moment, a big one. Because the bee monster in her head doesn't like that healthy food. It's not satisfied with it. It wants the stuff it's processed and has the chemicals in it. She shouldn't be doing mukbangs at all on YouTube, given her problem with food, because all that's going to do is put the food in her face. That's just me talking. If you got a problem with something, you should make it into YouTube content, period. Oh, I got an idea. Where's my phone? Wait, let me check something. <laughs> Messy girls like, come on, let's watch Dank Fupa. Yeah, go ahead, watch Dank Fupa. Let's react to some Dank Fupa, Chantal. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, of course. Teardrop, go suck an egg. She says, you are basically their boss. You pay all of them. Does she? Does she pay all of us? I could have sworn that I was making money with YouTube and she doesn't own YouTube and Google AdSense, which she doesn't own that either. So how is she paying us? YouTube is the one putting ads on the videos, not YouTube. And if Chantal's paying me, where's the rest of my money? <laughs> I've been shortchanged. Give me the rest of my money. She pays my bills. Where's the rest of my money, Chantal? <laughs> you cheap boss. You're cheap. You're so cheap. She's so cheap. Listen to her newest fucking stupid live stream. When is it coming on? We should stream Sniper. 2 a.m.? Oh, that's in like an hour and a half. Of course they have to talk about my wheelchair. Of course. Of course. Yeah, well, you made that into content. You made a point to take a picture of yourself in a wheelchair and you basically thrust it in everybody's face. How could we miss it? How could we not comment on it? 
I mean, in one live stream, you were talking about how great it would be to be bed bound. Oh, if I become bed bound, I'll just stream from my bed. No big deal. You were almost looking forward to it when you shouldn't be. Being truly bed bound is no joke. There's nothing happy about that. First, you talked about being bed bound. Now you're like, I need a cane or a wheelchair. You're mocking, in my opinion, disability. The possibility of being disabled or bed bound. Like it's, it's oh, this is great. I'm sure there are lots of people who are truly disabled or bed bound that would disagree with you. And they would tell you all about how they wish they had their mobility to be independent, to perhaps be more productive. Like they, there are lots of people who are disabled or handicapped that are very productive in life. But you are literally choosing to be, to give up your mobility. It's disgusting when you have a choice, when you could turn things around and go another way. You're saying, I don't want my independence. I want to give it all up. And I want to make fun of being bed bound and, and taking a picture of yourself in a wheelchair with a big old smirk on your face. Like any, like she's so fucking pathetic. Any bit I'm on camera, like any bit, like even that one picture of me in a wheelchair. Do you know how many, how many reaction channels used that for their thumbnail? Do you know how many did? That's how pathetic they are. You wanted us to. She's gaslighting right here. She throws out the bait. She posted that picture for a reason. She did it for attention. To get more attention for herself. She herself used those pictures in not just one, but two thumbnails for her videos to get attention from her viewers. Y'all remember that video I played for you guys? Uh, I believe it was, uh, who, who did that? Was it Marley Hendricks? No, no. I, I went back through Chantal's content and she had a short video saying, this is how you make videos on YouTube and be successful on a channel. And she suggested to people, use clickbait. That if you make up clickbait titles, make up clickbait thumbnails, things that are shocking, it'll get people watching you. So she took a picture of herself in a wheelchair knowing it was going to be shocking. And she used that for clickbait. Not once, but twice. And then she's going to turn around and say, oh, look at them. They used a picture of me in a wheelchair. You provided it, did you not? We didn't go on a private account. You put it out there on purpose. You knew what you were doing. Yeah, you did. Next time I go live, I'm just going to put a big picture of her ugly face on my as my background. Oh no, spiders sounds great. There are all kinds of bugs and spiders here. You live near the Smoky Mountains? There must be a lot of spiders. <laughs> oh, I don't like bugs. Don't give them that content. Oh, this is bad. Angelique says, I feel like I'm talking to a friend in your lives. They can't pull that off. Anybody coming into Chantal's chat? Chantal is not your friend. She's not your friend. She is a content creator who is on YouTube to make money. But you should not consider her a friend. She's not your friend and you are not her friend. Here's something about friendship, real friendship. Lean in close and pay attention. So... If you have a friend, a real friend, do you pay your friends for their friendship? No? No, of course you don't. If you have a real life friend, they are your friend because they like you and you like them and you talk for free, you interact for free. So if you're a friend of Chantal, why is she making you pay? 
for her friendship. What's up with that VIB membership? Sounds like a friends with benefits kind of situation. And she's the one benefiting financially, right? Mm-hmm. She's not doing this channel just because she likes to talk to people and she's got something to say. She's here to make money. And she's always throwing out, hey, here's my PayPal. Sign up as a VIB. Look, even look right here on the bottom left. Look at that. She's got a goal for making the Beezers. Looking for those paid members. She's not looking for friends. Let's get that straight. She's looking for customers. Customers. All of you that are VIBs, you are customers. And here's the worst part for you. She's not even providing a quality product or service. She wants you to pay her for nothing. And you let her get away with it. And so she continues to do it. But she's not your friend. She's a content creator. She creates this vibe of, oh, I care about you guys so much. She don't give a crap. Okay? She does not care. She never will care. She cares about you for money and attention. That's it. She has said many times if she wasn't making money on YouTube, she wouldn't bother making content. So it's not about y'all as a community. It's about everything benefiting her so if you got that idea of friendship in your head throw it away you don't pay your fucking for excuse me you don't pay your friends sorry sorry about the curse word sorry no but like if i go live background will just be her ugly face i'm sure she can't stand to look at it isn't that ableism making fun of the wheelchair it is ableism they all they're so ableist and whenever i brought that up whenever okay Making fun, I called them all ableist the first time when they made fun of um, Amber Lynn not being able to walk up on a curb or just walking to a tree. Like, how is that funny? Like, as obese as some of these people are, they make fun of Amber Lynn and how far she's allowed able to walk. That's ableism. It doesn't matter if you think that fat people are lazy or whatever the reason is. Like, it doesn't matter. It's still ableism and being disabled, like having a back injury and needing a wheelchair. Yes, it is. It's, it's, you don't have a back injury. I think your back hurts, but it's not as bad as you say, but I'm looking at the chat right now and there are people in her chat. Like, she said, let's have fun. So people are suggesting let's watch Dank Fupa. Let's watch Cheyenne Jasmine because those things are funny. Those are content creators that they did a lot of work and made animations and skits and stuff that are hilarious. They, they want to actually have fun in this stream and she's not about that life. She's not paying attention to her chat about what the chat wants. So where's the have fun part, Chantal? It's ableism for sure. They don't care. They're the lowest of the low pieces of crap, which is what pisses me off about somebody like your mama getting a strike, but not these pieces of dog crap. Now that was news to me that your mama got a strike. I was like, and I, oop. Crap. You know what I mean? Thank you, parasocial. They're all hypocrites. I, I hate them all. I can't wait for them to disappear. I So I've gathered that Yo Mama got a strike because he lost his cool and he threatened somebody on his stream. So he can't, he's got one strike. So he's out for seven days. Here. They laugh at others' pain, and I hate to think that will come to them. Yeah, I hope so, inshallah. She can't, the, it's ableism to say, is it ableist to say that French fry gun can't wear a bow tie because of her gin? Yeah. Um, I see some of them teardrop, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Lady Ravenhill. Let's Cheyenne Jasmine Bees. <laughs> Everyone you mention her, she gets a boner and makes money. Yeah, sh true. Yep, <laughs> that's true. And yet you still keep focusing on her. With That's the hilarious part. 
<laughs> you hating on her publicly just makes her more money. That's so hilarious to me. <laughs> exactly. That's I hate her, but I'm going to help her make more money <laughs> and get more subscribers. That's parasocial, that's exactly, without me, they're nothing. You know what? Let's put that to the test, Chantal. I know you'll never take up the challenge, but let's put that to the test. Don't do content for a month, Miss Moneybags, Miss Quasi Celebrity. Don't stream for, you know, not even a month, a couple of weeks. Just a couple of weeks. See what we do. You'll see. This whole thinking of without me, they're nothing. They'll fall down and, and their channels will, will crumble. Put it to the test. Don't stream for a week or two weeks. See what happens. We'll do retro reacts. We'll react to different people. We might even find somebody new to react to that's more entertaining than you. You won't do it. You're scared of losing your position, aren't you? You're scared because you know your content's boring. You know that you're not entertaining the people. You're not entertaining your VIBs. We as reactors, we've got to provide interesting content on our channel, whether it's reacting to somebody or doing something else. We are adaptable. We can do all kinds of different things. You, not so much. But don't stream for a week. We'll continue to pump out content one way or the other without you or with you. We might find somebody else. Like all the VIBs are under the impression that without you being around that oh, we're, we're all going to crumble. But the reaction channels, we got a power. A power that she knows about. A power that she's aware of because she, she's seen it happen. When the reaction channels, when the reactors, we get wind of somebody who's entertaining, is putting really good content out there. Once word starts spreading around, we start talking about that person. Next thing you know, their channel blows up. They're getting a huge boost in viewers, in subscribers. Take a person's channel who's small and get them monetized usually overnight. They can start out with 500 subscribers. Next thing you know, they're at 2,000, 3,000. Yeah, she knows we got that power. If we find something interesting and we, a lot of people start covering that person, especially some of the bigger channels, whoever that person is, their channel's going to blow up. And you know what that means? Less attention for her, less views for her. She claims she hates the reaction channels, but without them, she would fall completely. She's so scared of losing that attention, and yet she won't do what she needs to do to keep things interesting to where we're focusing on her. She got this weird love-hate relationship with us. She knows she does. Like she says she hates Frenchie, but yet she goes out of her way to talk about Frenchie, to poke at Frenchie, just so Frenchie will respond to her. <laughs> If you hate somebody, you don't want their attention, do you? That's why they scramble when I'm not on camera. They can't use my looks for anything. But who's scrambling? I'll do retro reacts. The retro reacts are more interesting than you. While they hide behind camera because they look like John C. Riley made it. I'm not hiding. I'm right here. Y'all see me. Hi, Chantal. Uh, Charles Reed. I'm right here. I cammed up. I keep camming up. And even those that don't cam up. It has to do with the live chats and trying to pay attention to everything because when you get more than a few people in your live chat, you're trying to read all the comments and highlight the comments and thank people for the super chats. It's a lot. You get multitasking. You'll never understand that because your numbers are dropped so low. With the potato. So there's not really... Like, honestly, consider the source. If FF Gunt was making fun of your looks, would you feel bad? Seriously, would you feel bad about that? Hello. Obviously, it bothers you. Oh. Oh, thanks, Lily. Who gave you a mama strike? I heard it was the person who uh, filmed Amber Lynn's butt.
Which is stupid since he's a creepy stalker. And then he's going to strike somebody for that. Like, you you recorded the video to be played. And then you're going to strike someone for that? Anyway. Gal Charlotte. Okay, I'll, I'll, after the stream I have to do it because I can't put a link here, I don't think. Um, no, you didn't, Lexi. Some things, like, like, if you comment, if I don't want to answer, I just won't. Like, stuff about Salah or what people are saying, I don't really care. They're all turning on each other. <laughs> Italian. Um, you know, let's, let's break down this thing that she's talking about. This narrative that she's trying to frame and put on a wall. I'm taking that frame off the wall right now and breaking it. She tries to put out this narrative that it's about the size of her body. And that's why we go so hard at her. The, Chantal, the size of Chantal's body is a talking point. But it's only a talking point because she's so unhealthy and she's gaining weight so rapidly that it's scary. And the scary part is knowing that she uses filters and without the filters, she would look even bigger. She's reached a point where the filters can't even hide it anymore. It's just she's gaining too much weight. It's just it's frightening to see how much weight she's put on. But her weight is honestly her problem that she can solve or not solve. But Chantal, it's it's not about her weight. It's not the 100 percent talking point. It's a small aspect. She tries to say that the reactors, we we look around for people that are severely overweight or obese or super morbidly obese and we pick on them. There are other mukbangers and content creators that are Chantal size or bigger, like say, Hungry Fat Chick. Do y'all notice that the reactors don't talk about candy? We don't go in on candy. You wanna know why? She's a nice person. She's got a sweet personality. She comes on camera. She does her mukbangs. She minds her business. She's not dramatic. She's a lovely person, personality-wise. And she's honest. I mean, she's got a channel saying, hungry fat chick, and I'm doing mukbangs, and that's it, and that's all. What is there to talk about? Somebody putting their business right there on Front Street. You can't argue with that. Why do we go in on Chantal? Because she's a horrible person and weight has nothing to do with that. We go in on her because of her horrible personality, the evil, rotten things she's done, the offensive things she's done and said. We would still go in on her if she were, say, 100 pounds or 120 pounds or 200 pounds. She says, fat shaming, fat phobia, although she's guilty of fat shaming and fat phobia with the creator saying, oh, they're big too, blah, blah, blah. It's not about her weight. Her weight is a talking point because she is, she's getting bigger. And it's like, if she doesn't stop, she's going to get bed bound. It's not going to be good. I mean, I, I don't like to bring up those who are not here with us anymore, but Unfortunately, life by Jen isn't here any longer, and that's just really sad. But everybody's wondering, is she going to follow that same path? Not that anybody's wishing that upon her. She's wishing that upon herself. That's another misconception. She's got her audience thinking that we're wishing for her to meet her demise. No, she's wishing that for her freaking self doing her mud bogs. By eating 12,000 calories a day, she is making that happen for herself. And she needs to stop that. But nobody can force her to stop that. She's got to make the choice to be healthy. But it's not about her size. It's about who she is inside. Yeah. Beauty is skin deep. Ugliness is to the bone. Yes. Hi, Sophia Rose. You can't find logic where there is none. Exactly. Exactly. He's struck because your mama threatened him when he said he'd throw him through a window. 
Oh my gosh. You have to be kidding. That's what I'm saying. YouTube is. So it wasn't about yo mama showing the footage. It was about the threat. You can't threaten people. Stupid with that stuff. I can't. Like, but it's okay for uh, Jabba, Jabba the Hutt to m plan my funeral, right? That's okay, though. Whatever, Biatch, I'm going to live forever. I'm going to live longer than you watch. <laughs> Even if I have to be limping my butt everywhere. Yeah, so the guy filming, exactly, the guy filming ALR in the first place. Which your mama has a right to say that because he's a creep and people should do that to him. You watch Skinny Queen. I don't know how you do it, Steph, honestly. <laughs> yeah, how do you feel about that, Chantal? Somebody saying they watch Skinny Queen. We know how you hate Skinny Queen. Um, <laughs> the blue window. <laughs> yeah. 90% of reactors just make fun of your looks, screenshot and flattering stuff, and make up conspiracies. Exactly, Applebee's. Yep, I know. And they, they make fun of my content. Okay. And at the same time, you borrow off of ours, Chantal. You borrow off the reactors. <laughs> You will borrow off of ideas and music for people's intros and outros and break videos. Ma'am, you've even used some of my intro music for your videos, your vlogs. Same thing with Eerie Pepperoni, you big thief. Get your own ideas. And not only that, but she hates the reactors. But yet, what is she doing in this stream right here, right now? Talking about a reactor for over an hour. Using that as a topic for content. She's supposed to be having fun with people. Where's the fun? I don't see it. Everyone is here supposedly to watch you go down. What keeps me here is to see Gore World go down. Yeah, I, I, that's a good one, Parasocial. What goes around comes right back around, my babies. Well, that would explain a lot of things going around in your life right now. Miss, I've got good karma. <laughs> well, that good karma kind of checked out and went down the road away from you because you don't seem to have it. Look at everything going on with you right now, Chantal. Would you consider that good karma? Would you consider those things reward for doing good deeds? Because I wouldn't. What I would call that is you planting evil seed and getting a bitter harvest. You reap what you sow and you're sowing what you reaped. If you plant the seeds of negativity, you will get the same. You can run, but you can't run forever. And it feels like a lot of things are starting to catch up with you. I'm serious. You are lovely with or without makeup, but your makeup skills are on point. I wish I could do my eyeshadow like you. Thank you, Lady Ravenhill. I can definitely do like, you know, a tutorial sometime. I don't do anything special. I don't spend hours on it. I just mostly blend everything with my fingers. But I can teach like how I do it, like for sure. <laughs> exactly, teardrop. Don P, how can French fry make fun of anyone when her stomach hangs too? She has fupa, she has 12 chins, just like she she has no place to talk no place to talk at all. Same thing with skinny queen. How how funny the irony. Exactly. They have no place to talk. They have no place to bully anyone. They don't even have the balls, fupa balls to show themselves. So just can it. Like it's so ridiculous at this point. <laughs> it is so unoriginal and uncreative there's nothing there it's nothing burger and the sad thing is is they're stuck like she likes to talk about scat scat and poop all the time um you're stuck in it you're eating shit <laughs> we do that on purpose to keep salah away from youtube and it's working <laughs> we will never let her nor him forget about that because as long as we keep bringing it up, he ain't going to come back. Shit, FFG, you're stuck. You have nothing. If you guys want to watch her uh, react to her crappy vlog, 
Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we're going to have a good moment here, y'all. Like, watch this. Okay. So let me just set the stage. She's going to put on Frenchie's vlog. I guess Frenchie was watching at the same time. <laughs> and she privated the video. <laughs> And it made Chantal mad. This is so, this is so classic. Let's react to her crafty vlog. By the way, Chantal, as I've mentioned before, it is impossible to react to somebody without indirectly promoting them. And their channel and their content so this vlog that you're trying to show like if you had shown it would have gotten more views i'm just saying i'm just saying so for a bit of context this vlog apparently is she was driving back to montreal okay so obviously trying to copy me doing driving visas and i swear it's like she can't be me so she she uh hates on me she literally chantal tries to own everything doesn't she oh if i drive in my videos no one else is allowed to drive in their videos otherwise they're copying me if I go to the Orange Julep or Burger King, nobody else on YouTube is allowed to go to Burger King or the Orange Julep because I did it first. She tries to own everything, although Chantal has confessed to constantly browsing all over TikTok and YouTube looking for anything that has gone viral and she wants to copy that. So she's got a problem with other people doing similar things. At the same time, she copies other people in so many ways. Early is driving back from a dispensary that she stopped me at, okay? She drove, this person is so psychotic. They drove to a dispensary in Cornwall, Ontario, claiming that the weed at this dispensary is better than the one in Montreal, but that's a lie, which I'm catching her in now. Anyone with a brain- Anybody, even if that's not true, she can go where she wants. Can she not? Can she not drive where she wants to go? She can go where she wants to go. You don't own Canada, Chantal. You can't tell people where they can go and what they can do. You can't be the boss of everybody saying, you can't go here and you can't go there. Just because I went there or I like going there. You don't even live in Canada anymore. And according to you, you're not going back to Canada for at least three years. So if anybody wants to go to Cornwall or Ottawa or Gatineau or Montreal, that is their right. The fake outrage with this one. Because she says she doesn't know anybody who works there. Okay. So if she's been going there for a while and they have the best weed and that's why she went down there anyway, it doesn't make any sense. Like you would know who worked there. Second, she has to drive by many good dispensaries in Montreal to get to Cornwall. So she's full of shit and her audience is just like, yeah. Give uh, is that a self-confession that you know where all the good dispensaries are? Yeah, it kind of sounds like a self-confession. You know what? You want to talk about people eating shit, FFG? Your entire audience eats a big dump you take on them every friggin' live stream. All right? So but you best just shut it. Like, honestly. All right. So here's her crappy. Let's see. This is the content she makes. If she's not talking about me. This is the content she makes, all right? Just watch. Watch and learn. I find it amazing that Chantal is here saying she has to do content about me or else nobody cares. At the same time, Chantal, she's stuck in a rut, isn't she? She is because if she doesn't have her camera on, stuffing her face full of food, doing that self-harm content. Does anybody really care about Chantal? If she's not raging or she's not eating, does anybody really care? Is there any other variety to her channel that people are really invested in or interested in? No. 
So it's one of two things with Chantal, either you got to rage to get the interest or you got to cater to the feeties to get the interest. So imagine that someone who has very little in the way of variety criticizing a content creator. All right, you guys are going to learn something today. <laughs> How riveting her content is. Oh, this is set to private. <laughs> yes. Yes. Y'all look at that. <laughs> uh, Frenchie was watching the stream. And just to make Chantal angry, she privated the video. Listen, rule number one, if you're someone and you're planning on reacting to anything and you've got an inkling that the person that you're reacting to does not like you, before you react to it, you download it. Just in case this happens. I mean, those of us that are reactors to Chantal, we know her very well. We know her extremely well. If there's anything spicy, if there's anything inflammatory, you better react to it as quickly as possible. You better download it as quickly as possible and get a copy. Because if you don't, it might be gone within the next 15 minutes, five minutes, an hour. We never know how long she's going to leave something up. So if possible, we try to download it just in case she does that. And now she's been given a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> you know, the dirty delete queen getting mad because somebody made their video private. She's mad that somebody took her tactics and flipped them around on her. You big fat pussy. <laughs> no way. She just privated it. Oh, Oh, what's wrong, Goblin? You don't like when people <laughs> react to your content? Oh. I th I'm sorry. I think that's great. I think that's so great. <laughs> You've dirty deleted a lot of your content, Chantal. You did. Although, by the way, while I'm here, thank you. Thank you for making uh, the videos and the live streams and and spending an hour, two hours, three hours making the content and then doing the dirty deletes because all you did was provide all the reaction channels with free real estate that we could make money off of and get views off of and deny them for yourself. I think that's awesome. How fucking hypocritical of you. So she just privated her crappy ass... Um, <laughs> you are pathetic you are the most pathetic <laughs> thin skinned psychotic loser on the internet you know what the people in her chat even though they are the vips look a lot of them are laughing they think it's funny they think it's absolutely funny they're even laughing at, at this whole thing. Internet. You know that? You are a clown. Does anyone want to listen to some circus music? Honestly, she privated. She privated her vlog before I could watch it. So she's watching right now. Yep. Just like you watch her live streams. Turnabout is fair play. Like an obsessed loser, not spending time with her lumberjack. She's watching me right now so that <laughs> in case I want to use her content. <laughs> ah, okay. So I need to be smarter. I need to download, download all these losers' content, right? Chantal, you know about the reaction community. And I'm sure you've taken notice of how we do things. I, I can't believe that you did not download it first. Th there's so many free recording programs. How could you not? Oh, oh that's right, because you're lazy. You don't do your homework. You don't come to class with all your notes. You just expect for things to be there when you want them there. 
yeah, rule number one with Chantal, if you're reacting to her and there's something really good and it's not boring, download it, get your copy, get it as quickly as you can. If she's going live and she's spouting off at the mouth and she's really angry and she's just blown up, start reacting to it then. She hates stream sniping, but at the same time, when she's doing the really good stuff, she leaves us with no choice. She really doesn't. It's not going to be there in the next hour, the next day. We got to get it when the getting's good. Right? Can you imagine, you friggin' loser, if I privated all of my content and you didn't have access to it? You wouldn't have a job. At the same time, though, if you privated all your videos, Chantal, you know what that means? No more views. No more money. So you're not going to do that, are you? Oh. <laughs> you can dish it she can dish it but she can't take it that's the thing i just proved it you are the thinnest skinned oh my gosh thinnest skinned idiot with a little chantal so stupid so frenchie is watching she privated the video knowing it would make chantal angry and it did so the trolling worked boy bum and muscular forearms i've ever met in my life i love it you made my day go ahead and snipe her she's not even live yet is she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i think chantal did this stream hoping that frenchie would go live she wanted frenchie to go live she did everything she could to provoke frenchie to go live didn't happen <laughs> she got out trolled. Uh, oh, I got a better idea. <laughs> Can't handle the heat, can ya? You friggin' hypocrite. She's mad because her tactics are not working. And, and, and Frenchie is just playing with her. <laughs> like a cat does with a mouse. He's playing with her. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm going to private. She privated it right away. <laughs> this person has no life, no life when I'm online. None. Well done, Frenchie. Well done. Well played, ma'am. Very well played. Oh, okay. Um, gal Charlotte, you are unblocked. Sorry, I was charging my phone. Yes. You're unblocked, gal Charlotte. <clears throat> okay. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. I want to put something on screen. When the moon hits your eye like a big oh. pizza pie. I want to hear her sing. All right. Here you go. Didn't she say earlier that people fat shame her and body shame her and and she's attempting to body shame FFG right now, showing a picture of her. Yeah, she is. So you can't sit there and be, you know, have your fist in the air and and fat shaming is wrong and, and fat phobia is wrong at the same time that you're guilty of it, Chantal. This is an old, 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 old photo, by the way. Yeah, you know what, Chantal? Instead of putting up old pictures of FFG, why don't you do this? Why don't you take a picture from 2017 when you were 377 pounds and then take a recent picture of yourself and put them next to each other? And see if people agree that you're at a lower weight now than you were then. Because that's that's the narrative you're trying to put in front of people. That in 2017, you were 377. And you're trying to claim now that you're at a lower weight than you were then. Let's do the side by side about that and see what people think.
I'm just playing a little bit of their game. That's all. I know I'm being petty right now. Whatever. I don't care. She's mad because she got outsmarted yet again. <laughs> That's what this is. She's mad. Because <laughs> she's mad that she wanted to play that video so bad and FFG outsmarted her. She's, she's, her, her pride's been hurt. She, she, her Phoebe's got hurt. This is what they do to me. This is their content. So I'm just showing you exactly what they do to me every time. Okay. I'm still freaked out that... Here we go. You're still freaked out about what? There. You. All right. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to bring this up one more time. You cannot react to somebody and show somebody on your channel without at the same time promoting them. So all of this, even though she's angry, she's angry at Frenchie. She's promoting her. She's promoting her channel right now. <clears throat> okay. Hi. Hi, Dodo. Penny misses fun sometimes. <laughs> Why don't you use your Instagram more? Every little bit helps promote. I know, lady. I get overwhelmed with the amount of things, you know. Help. Jenna. <laughs> no, this is what she does. This is what she does to me. This is exactly what she does to me. So let's, let's keep her on camera. I mean, let's keep her. I don't want to show myself. So I'm going to show. So this was her then like years ago. This is her more now at Shannon's. Yeah. A, f a former friend who threw me under the bus. Okay. And so I okay. For those who are not aware and weren't around since she's bringing it up, I'll bring this up. What happened with Shannon and Chantal? Chantal, when she was with Natter, she was going online telling everybody about the fact that allegedly Natter was being very abusive. She told everybody on YouTube that. Then she also went to Shannon and told her that. Shannon, who was her friend, I guess became very, very concerned with the things that Chantal was saying. And she tried to reach out to Chantal and Chantal wasn't picking up her phone. And so being that Chantal was online all the time, you know, had to come into one of her live streams. And Chantal and, and Shannon revealed that, yep, Natter is definitely being abusive. And, and that, Chantal had a complete total meltdown. Although it was her fault for going to her friend and saying these concerning things to her. I did with this creature and um, this person, I show this picture because this person in almost every video where my hands are showing will say I have trotters and pig hands, but you got the nose too. So don't come for me. Thank you. Um, she says her fingers are buff. Okay. Um, her forearms are buff. <laughs> okay. We need a sugar. You know, Chantal, since you're all about body shaming and doing body comparisons and going over the hands and whatnot, why not take a picture of FFG and put it next to a picture recently of yourself? Since you'd like to say the reactors that were all like fat and as big as you, put a picture of yourself next to FFG. Cara reaction to this. And uh, so, yeah, this is more her now, more her now, I would say the, uh, there, so this is her, this person, okay, so it's very, you know, what's very easy to prove for those of you who are going to come simp for FFG that this is not what she looks like. 
tell her to cam up. It's so easy. What do you care what she looks like, though? You don't care. You really don't care. You're Chantal, you're looking for anything. You've been yelling and screaming for everybody to cam up, cam up, cam up. At the same time, you don't cam up correctly. You come on with your living avatar, all those filters. You're not even showing your natural self. But you want everybody else to cam up just so you can take a look at them and try to find something insulting to say. That's the only reason why you care. See, cam up and show yourself. Show us that you have dainty fingers. Show us that you have muscular body. Show us that. Okay, I'm just going to throw this out here. So I'm five foot four. But 130 pounds. Chantal, she's five feet tall, so she would be four inches shorter than me. All right, and I'm I'm not hand shaming or anything like that, just to give you guys a size comparison. I'm petite, and I feel that if Chantal lost a lot of the weight, she would also be petite. But y'all see my hands, you see my wrists. As a petite person, do they look anything like Chantal's? Anything. Do they look even close to the size of Chantal's? Yeah, like they, they should look close. Her hand should look closer in size to mine than her current size. I'm lying about this and that it's Photoshop. That's all you have to do. That's it. You know, please stoop. It's justifiable. This isn't stooping. It's matching energy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know. Uh, maybe it's wrong, but if it's wrong right now, I don't want to be right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy. If y'all, let's take a step back away from this situation. On the surface level, it looks like she is going after Frenchie. But if you step further away back from everything and really look at it from a broader point of view, what is this really? This is Chantal being angry about a lot of issues, a lot of financial issues, a lot of personal issues. This, ladies and gentlemen, is self-loathing and self-hate at its finest. She hates herself. She hates her life. She's frustrated. And she's taking it out on someone else and sharing the loathing and the self-hate with her audience. That's what it is. She's always telling us to stay mad, stay mad, stay mad. But yet she's the only one who is truly mad. But she's not really mad at the reactors. We're just doing our thing over here. She's not mad at us. That's not what this is. She's mad at herself for being so doggone stupid. That she had made a bunch of bad decisions. Huge amount. Which has led her to the place where she's at right now. I have met people like Chantal, not as, as, as large as Chantal, mind you, but same personality. I had an ex who was an insecure egomaniac, <laughs> but he was filled with self-loathing and self-hate all the time, angry, always mad. It wore me out. I'm not trying to make this about me. I'm just explaining. That's all. But always, he was always angry. Nothing ever made him happy. Like a bull in a china shop he was. Always doing damage. Always hurting people around him. Wearing people out emotionally, mentally. To the point where they had to pull themselves away just to get a moment of peace. That is Chantal. Insecure egomaniac walking wounded, wanting to be a victim of something just to say that whatever she's doing is not her fault. She's so desperate to be a victim and shift the blame that she will make up stuff that's not even true. Even though the responsibility of her life is her own. So she sees someone online that is doing financially better, has a much healthier life that contains a lot of qualities that she wish she had going on for herself right now. And let's hate on that person the most. 
Let's transfer all of that self-loathing and self-anger and self-hate onto another person. Let's, let's give it to them. Well, that's not going to make it go away. You're going to blow off steam a little bit to where the bottle doesn't explode, but it's not going to get rid of it because the problems that create it in the first place are still there. So is she hating on FFG right now? Yeah, but it's it's about self-loathing, self-hate, uh, feeling stupid for decisions that you've made for yourself that no one else is responsible for. And you're trying to shift all of that negative energy onto another person. Percy, you know, so sorry, but sorry if that disappoints you. I don't know, like people might think I'm like super nice. I am nice, you're but... Not this person has been like, like, if you look at their channel, they've been trying to torment me for years. And ma'am, nobody can torment you better than yourself. You are your own worst enemy. You get in your own way all the time. You know what you need to do. You know what to do. You got the money and the time to do it, but you stop yourself. You let laziness and lethargy get in your way. You're too comfortable in your uncomfortableness, if that makes sense. You have found a comfortable level with whatever pain or whatever suffering or whatever misery you have acquired. You're comfortable with it. You don't want to let go of it. And that's your decision. That's your right to live like that. But if you are uncomfortable and you're not happy with your life, you cannot blame another person. You cannot say she torments me. No, ma'am. You torment yourself unnecessarily. You choose to do that. It's no one else is doing it to you. They do it behind a camera and they do it. They make fun of my looks when I look a hundred million times better. Sorry. Really? I, I disagree, but that's my opinion. But it's true. Objectively, I don't look like John C. Riley. Um, but you know what? Looks don't even matter. She's a horrible person. I'm only pointing out her looks as always. Ma'am, do I have to count the many ways that you're horrible, the horrible things you've done? We'd spend all day doing that. Let's go over some of the horrible things you've done. The really horrible things you've done. Let's see. You cheated on Pete. You cheated on Baby. You left Pete's in financial ruin. Not once, but twice. You ruined his credit. You stuck him with a huge bill when you moved out of the villa and he was the one stuck paying for all the damages that you did. Uh, but you are a serial cheater. You got on the internet talking about SA and DV that never happened to you, profiting off those subjects. You were neglectful and abusive to your own pets, even going so far as to starve them, starving BBJ, trying to make sure that when you took her to the vet that the vet would put her down, uh, you mocked the school shooting. And for that, you even went so far as to take a picture of one of the grieving mothers and blow it up and put it on your community post, you vile creature. I mean, there's so many things you've done. too many things a nice person would not do any of those things wouldn't even consider them a nice person would not let their pet walk around on embedded nails with a severe bladder infection to the point where they're peeing blood for months have a litter box that wouldn't be changed for three months a nice person would not allow for those things to happen so no you're not nice you only act like you're nice, but your nice comes at a price. You are so lacking in general, real niceness that if you're nice to somebody, you expect a reward. Oh, I'm being nice to you, so I'm expecting something back. Being really nice means you do it because it's who you are and you have a good heart. It's not that I'm doing it transactionally. No, that's your version of nice. That's how awful you are. That is so out of your character. It's so abnormal that you expect to be compensated for being nice. So nice, not you. Because she comes for me, 
but hides so nobody can see her. So I'm just showing you what she looks like. She has no place to talk. None. She has no friggin' place to talk looking like this. You know? But you're right, Lady Ravenhill. Like, I shouldn't give it my energy, but whatever. But you are. <laughs> I wonder what it would look like if you put all of FFG fans in a room, old meats. <laughs> if you let her slide too long, you took the high road for too long. Yeah, I even do, like, delete everything. Like, I delete community. It's not that she let Frenchie slide too long. It's just that she... <laughs> She's... <laughs> she knows that if she tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Frenchie as far as going back and forth, she would lose in, like, seconds posts or whatever and by the way um yava loves to talk about dirty deleting didn't she delete a whole bunch of things her and sam see there didn't you delete a whole bunch of things how many videos have you deleted off of your channel chantal like hundreds hundreds of hours of videos gone because you didn't want to get in trouble with youtube they're all hypocrites. They all crap on people for years now. They've been bullying and crapping on people. And by the way, what do you care about that? Like, what do you care what other channels do with their channels, with their content? What is it a concern of yours? If a channel says, hey, I don't like 50 videos or I don't like this video or I want to completely change up my content and I want to delete it all. Why does that concern you so much? Why do you care? You have your almost 100K channel. Shouldn't you be worrying about your content? Why are you got your nose in everybody else's business, ma'am? For the same things that they do, if not worse. If not worse. If they think that a community built on hate is going to last forever, they're really delusional. Yeah, drenched in drama. So, moving along. Gal Charlotte, there you are. Thank you for joining. When I stopped drinking, I stopped watching reaction channels except your mama and SQ. Who's SQ? Oh. Guinea Queen. Oh, no. How can you, <laughs> you stand that? Uh. Oh, she's so mad that some of her own beaters are saying we want Skinny Queen. But you know what, Chantal? This, this plays into people can go where they want they have the right to go where they want on youtube you may want to just hold your beezers to you and they're only allowed to watch you and people that you like but everybody's allowed to go where they like you just have to accept that uh, okay uh... anyway she, she thinks she's cool because she she does streams with uh, Salah's former friend, who, by the way, can be not, I'm not saying anything, and I probably shouldn't say this, but he can be in a lot of crap for continually talking about us. So keep going. That's all I'm going to say about that. That was her issuing a threat to Allah. I don't know. I don't know how she could threaten Allah. What is she going to threaten him with? She's the one in Kuwait, in another country that is not her own, on a tourist visa She's not a resident, so she needs to be careful about issuing threats. I know, because all the people are hateful like her. They think I'm smug. I should be. I have a right to be smug. Are you kidding? No, you, you have no reason to be smug at all. <laughs> You're wrong about everything. <laughs> Typical potato. I like that potato. I'm good with impressions. <laughs> so the only thing she's stuffing is her face. Ma'am, ma'am, do we have to bring up a picture of you as well? You are 350 pounds. I'm actually. And you are over 500, Chantal. Don't go there. Actually lighter than you right now. Okay, so. What? She's trying to say, like, that she's lighter than Skinny Queen. I disagree. I've watched her videos, Chantal, even with the filters on. Not body shaming here, just comparing body size, and she's bringing it up. 
Skinny Queen is smaller than Chantal, and so is French Bright Girl. You look like an idiot. Anyway, she has like 3K subscribers. I'm not even going to bother addressing her. It's not that you're going to bother to address her because you know, like if you put a picture up on the screen, her channel is going to blow up. You don't want that. Hi, Dream. Uh, yeah, I know, Dawn. People think that like watching her makes me mad. I don't care. Like I said, I still make thousands a month as well. I don't give a crap. And I don't. So if you make thousands a month, like if, if you're doing well on your channel and you're comfortable, Chantal, why are you bothering to get mad at people? Why do all of this? Your stream says, let's have fun. You could have done anything tonight. Anything. So why do this? If you're doing well, you know, things are going well. Why do all of this? Because you're frustrated at Salah and yourself. I don't have to, I don't have to steal content. And I don't have to be hateful. So my, you know, like it doesn't, I don't have to do that every day. I don't have to worry about my channel every day being taken down for bullying and hate hatred because I don't, uh, you know, make a whole channel about somebody. But you kind of are because every time you do a live stream now, you bring up French fry girl. I mean, this is a three hour live more than half the time you spend talking about Frenchie excessively. <laughs> so you kind of are. Watcher zombies call a bully now. Exactly. I thought you don't talk about looks. You're watching a stream for three hours of somebody talking about my looks. So please, can it? Wait a minute. Okay, this may be relevant. This may be not. I'm just sharing my thoughts as they're going on in my head. So is the reason why you did a three hour stream is because Frenchie did a three hour stream? Is that why it went on so long? You're kind of copycatting her. I'm just wondering out loud. It's Moan at B first. Oh. Oh, good. Golden. Last. Yeah. Nice, Lena. You can't trust statements from an ex-friend turned hater for clout. And she likes to rip on me that I... Okay, before we go any further, y'all, like, uh, look, I'm just going to scan through. Look, I'm scanning through the rest of the live that I haven't reacted to. You guys can see for yourself. Like, she's, like, she keeps that picture of Frenchie up the entire time, like, for the last hour. Like she, she doesn't go on to something else. So let's, I'm going to just going to do some quick math right now. So it's three hour live, right? This is her doing like her commentary. Okay. We're at 20 minutes, right? So 40 minutes, her doing her skits. So out of a three hour live, what one hour so two hours out of a three hour live she talks about frenchie she's bashing on frenchie two hours devoted just to french fry girl <laughs> insane insane it's ff uh, french fried sorry baked potato girl likes to rip on me hold on i'll be right back hey Like, let me just check to see how long this I've been recording, like two hours. Skipping ahead. Where did she go? Okay, now I'm out. Now I'm out. So, Miss, it, it. Oh, by the way, Chantal, you just told on yourself. You claim to have sciatica and back pain, but... It didn't take any time at all for you to put your phone down or step away from the computer and go get some food. It would take a while to, you know, get that food. But she's starting to eat right now. You guys know how I feel about the meeting noises. We're done here. I know she's probably she got a whole lot more to say about Frenchie, but no, no, no. 
I'm not doing the eating. I don't want even want to hear it. So you guys get the gist of it all. Like she just bashing on Frenchie and it was supposed to be a fun live for everybody. Maybe something fun, something interesting, something hilarious. They didn't get that over there. It was just her bashing on Frenchie. But I want to show a piece of the live so you guys get the gist of it. So that's all I got because I am not going to listen to Chantal eating. I'm just not going to do it. I hope that's okay. So I hope everybody has a great day today. If you have, uh, if you'd like, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here and have a great day.